This is a weed burner. This is what I've been using to melt my aluminium. I'm going to see if it can melt copper. If you want to see, stick around for the rest of this video. Stay tuned. All right, so welcome inside the mind of Matt. When I first started out, I, I tried to get like the cheapest, uh, inexpensive way that I could get into mounting something in my backyard. I found this, uh, it's got a igniter on it. It's a, just a weed burner. Got it from Arbor Freight. I even think I had a coupon. I'm spilling my coffee. I think I even had a coupon that gave me a couple bucks off of it. So it has been successful up until this point in destroying a couple of steel crucibles. I have a real crucible, um, a graphite one. I'm going to load up my crucible with some copper that I got here. And I'm gonna see if I can get this weed burner to melt some copper in my backyard foundry with a weed burner. So if you haven't been to my channel, consider subscribing, but I'm gonna show you my setup here as I'm getting fired up. But as you see, it's pretty cold where I'm at. I don't think it's even uh, double digits. What's the temperature out? It's 21 degrees outside. Okay, so it's 21 degrees. But uh, w once I, I start recording and stop talking, and just melt some metal. Uh, I got the uh, propane forced hair, a uh, little salamander going on here in the background, gonna keep me warm. Cause like I said, I'm trapped in the garage cause it's really cold outside. But I need to get some of this. I need to see if I can actually melt some copper uh, for one of the projects I got coming up. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. But if I can't, then I've got to make an investment in a different setup here so I can get it hotter. But I'm going to say that I'm going to be able to get this hot enough to be able to melt copper. We'll see. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to show you the results. So here we go. So here's my actual foundry, which is just a, an old garbage can that I got at one of the uh, big home improvement stores. I put uh, like a water bottle, big water bottle, I ended up, it was the wrong thing, but I digress. But it's just plaster Paris and sand, place sand mixture. Uh, it's lasted me quite a long time. This is the original. I did have to redo the lid because it cracked a little bit, but this is the original forge that I made over two years ago. So foundry, foundry. So I'm going to drag it out, kind of get set up here so that I'm not going to set anything on fire. I will be wearing a respirator, but once I get this thing started between that running and my, my heater running, uh, it's going to be pretty loud in here. So I'm going to be playing some music for you. So it'll probably be time lapse and stuff, but and hopefully this shouldn't take that long, but I'll kind of document... Um, the time it takes and, and all that so it kind of be a little bit scientific as possible anyways here we go
kind of leaving it alone, but uh, I think I'm going to need to take a peek at it because at this point, I think I'm just wasting propane. So let me uh, get this thing open, see what we've got, and share my conclusion. It got hot. I knew it would have melted aluminium, but it was not hot enough to melt copper. So that being said, once again, this was just an experiment. More for my benefit, I needed to see if I was able to accomplish what I needed to with the current setup that I have in order to be able to melt copper, or whether or not I needed to invest more money in my backyard foundry where I want to step up my game a little bit and be able to melt some copper and be able to make some some alloys. What I'm looking to do is make some uh, alum aluminum bronze. So that's about 80-20% uh, ratio. 80% copper and 20% aluminum. So I can, I can melt aluminum all day but I guess I can't. Uh, melt copper with a weed burner from Arbor Freight. So I hope that if you're looking to do this it helps and Maybe that you'll get some inspiration from that. Anyways, if you'd like to help uh, maybe invest in a new burner maybe uh, Check out some of the links I got down in the description where you can directly support the channel by doing a little bit of shopping as well as buy me a cup of coffee hit me up on patreon or use my Amazon link, as well as there's a bunch of places where you can save some money on some filament. But anyways, keep on coming back. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit your notifications to on. Hit that like button. There's going to be more inside the mind of Matt. Happy printing. Be safe pouring. And keep on coming back. Because there's going to be more. But I think I said that already. But peace.